Oh, Dr. Grizzly was friendly, but she uh, got right down to work. Oh. <laughs> now, fine, she said. Mm -hmm. You both gained weight nicely and grown taller. <laughs> They both had gained some weight, and they both had grown taller. Yes. Mm. Mm. She listened to their chest with a stethoscope. Yes, a stethoscope. Look at that. <laughs> Dr. Grizzly. <laughs> and poked them all over to check on everything inside. Looky. <laughs> she was poking them. <laughs> Now, I know, I don't understand how things are. <laughs> My relatives have been poking me, and yesterday you did, didn't you? Yes. You made sure that I did not have my sons on my 49th birthday. Yeah. Because I don't understand how things are. <laughs> you decided to completely screw me over so that I would not spend my 49th birthday. Yes. With Marilyn Van Proyen, her kids, mm -hmm, and my sons. <laughs> because you as a state refuse to enforce victims' rights, <laughs> victims' resources, poop, uh, child victim rights, yes, mandatory victim restoration rights, yes. You just will not do what the law says. Mm -hmm. Well, it's possible, yes. That in your want to cause me pain and suffering, yes, that you've committed quite a few atrocities, yes, that happen to be war crimes. <laughs> now, let's say you're the sheriff <laughs> and you said there's no way that I could get you for treason. <laughs> but I would say committing the felony assault with the intent to torture and agonize an American citizen. <laughs> Those 81 recorded phone calls. Let me out. See, you can't tell the other cellmates what they're going to say or what they're going to do. No. You kind of have to work with them, and whatever they say, that's what you do, because you put me in jail for 27 days, knowing that you're going to pay for the show, where you're going to continue to misprison all the felonies, pooch, <coughs> subversive activities, and treason. <laughs> now, all these sheriffs that had a duty to write a written complaint, yes, of the knowledge in your jurisdiction of the violating of any of the criminal laws, yes, all of you, yes, are state employees, aren't you? Oh, did any of you report to the state auditor's office? Now you're getting. <laughs> See, Sheriffs, yes, that have a duty mm -hmm, when it comes to their knowledge in their jurisdiction, yes, to write written complaint, yes, of the violating of any criminal laws, yes, they cannot cover for each other, Pooh. there's no such thing as not stepping on toes, and for every county of this state, yes, that had an obligation, you're all getting sued, Pooh. for not being the mandatory reporters as required by the laws of the state of Washington. <laughs> now, today we're going through the direct current, aren't we, Sheriff Aussie? Now, I know it upset you when I said I dislike you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do think you are liable for refusing to do what is required as mandatory reporters. Yes. As whistleblowers. Poop. As sheriffs, yes, mm -hmm. as employees of the state and the county. Now, did you want to teach me a lesson right now? Why don't you check, mm -hmm. Sheriff Alsey? Yes. And each of the businesses in Spokane County that have contributed anything to your campaigns. <laughs> in fact, give me all the campaign contributions of every individual that contributed to you getting elected. <laughs> 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 